All right, let's go ahead and get these tests to pass. The first thing we should note is when we run these tests, it says the action show could not be found for the user's controller. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Let's go and edit the user's controller. And right now, we'll just simply create a new action. We don't know what to put in there yet, so we'll go ahead and just show that. So let's see what happens when we run the test now. Now we should have a controller uh, action called show and the problem now is that when it tries to run that it has the action but it does not have the, pro uh, the view. So let's uh, create our, our view. So we're going to create our show since that's the name of our action .html .erb and uh, right now let's just put in some basic uh, header uh, let's call it profile page and we let's put here want username and password uh, well, email not password but not password all right so there we go now we can uh, go ahead and run our test one more time and now since we have a controller and with the right action and a view with the right name we should be able to try to run these tests and um, <laughs> it fails our test because the, the word password happens to be our sample user's password. So we know that our, our test here is passing. So let's go ahead and um, make it uh, slightly different. Uh, by making it all caps. And now we can run our test and we can see that our, our first test that we expected to be really easy to pass, that being not displaying the user's password, now passes. Yay! That was as, as easy as we expected. Now the, the next two um, will not be that much more difficult. Um, but we, in order to do that, we need to, to understand uh, how we go about figuring out which user we want to display. So if we run our routes command again, you'll remember that when we uh, do the show action rate in, in this line right here, there is this colon ID that's a, a holder, a placeholder for which ID uh, the ID for which user we want to actually display and so when when we go to to the to the web page what we're gonna do is it's gonna have a slash and an ID number so let's do slash one uh, oh and I suppose it'd help if we turned on the server um, but by going to uh, slash users slash and uh, one here it's going to look for uh, it's going we're trying to tell the server that we're looking for that particular user and right now we say yeah that's profile play we want that username and, and email but we don't want to display their password so that is is how we construct the the URL now the cool thing is if we go back to the user's controller, we need some way to access that ID placeholder. And it turns out that that gets placed in our params uh, object just like these uh, user name, email, and password got placed in the params object when we submitted a form. To our Rails app, we can't tell the difference if it's in that placeholder spot or not. So what we want to do is be able to access that user. So somehow in params sub ID, 
that's going to be the user that we want. So if we kill that and start up our, our console, I just want to show that uh, there is a way for us to be able to search for that. So when we do um, user.all, we get a listing of all of them, and, and we have IDs from 3 through 9, it appears here. So we can do something like user.find. If we pl placed a 1 in there, it's going to complain because there is no user ID with 1. But if we gave it user ID 3, it's going to return back that user. So this find method is the, the key. So what we're going to do is we are going to create another instance method because we want to be able to access this user from our view and we're going to do find and we're going to pass it this uh, variable here. So if we go ahead and save that and uh, let's go back and run our server uh, again. What uh, we should be able to see now is nothing different. We refresh the page. Oh, we have an error message. Uh, let's ignore the error message uh, for, for right now because we, we don't have a test that checks for that. But it is something that we want to do. And our three works just like we, we saw in the Rails. Well, it was, it, it's not updated with that user's name and email, but it did uh, do the find successfully. So let's go ahead and finish that off by doing the user's show page. And what we simply want to do is um, maybe we, we can do this for, we can say, user name. So we'll put that there. And we can put, I don't know, in a paragraph we can say something like email. And we can put that user's email address. Uh, we probably should end that paragraph. Alright, so now we've got the user's name, we've got their email, and we do not have their password. So let's go ahead and refresh this web page and we see their username we see their email address so uh, that sounds like what we wanted let's go and try to run our test and see if we're not noticing anything in the web browser that our test is expecting um, if not we expect to see all green across here and that's what we got so we have successfully demonstrated showing a user.